Let's go on a time machine for a moment. You uh, formed a band, uh, Woven Hand, in 2001. That's right. Uh, after uh, 16 horsepower was taking a break, mm -hmm. maybe what can you tell me about the beginnings uh, of your of this band? Um, yeah, it was just me writing songs. You know, uh, uh, 16 horsepower took a hiatus. You know, and I just continued to to work and to write songs, and um, so I made a whole album and I just released it under a different name because it was just me. So. Uh, became something of its own and so I just continued to to bring people that friends of mine to play with me you know from uh, mostly from Denver from Colorado and um, and it's still kind of this way I just bring different people at different times and um, it's more of a, a an op um, more of a communal type of uh, situation you know it's less of a band and more of a community of people. So. Uh, I suppose you write the songs, the lyrics. Yes. Uh, maybe what's your perspective on writing the songs? Uh, do you want songs to be uh, accepted by the most of the people, or tell me something about the creativity on writing? You know, I don't really think about it. I don't think about how to write it or who to write it for. Or I just, you know, what comes to me, comes to me, and. I guess, you know, of course, it's the things that I'm thinking about or uh, attitudes or, or whatever, you know, that, that is going through my mind at the time. You know, this, these are the words that come for this specific period of, or a, a certain album or... Um, but I never have a particular vision of, you know, I want to say this or I, it just comes as it comes, you know. Can you tell me something about your latest album? Uh, what was the concept? Maybe what does this album reflect on? Uh, what were you thinking? At the threshing point? floor. Uh, yeah. uh, there's a lot of different uh, imagery that goes along with this title. Um, it's a biblical title. Um, um, mainly it was, you know, the, the threshing floor was the place where the, the temple, you know, the temple of, of Solomon was built was built upon this threshing floor, the idea of, uh, there's an idea of judgment there, but also an idea of, um, uh, <laughs> it's, it's deep, yeah, there's many different levels, you know, throughout the Bible and different, different ways in which this picture of a threshing floor is shown and has different meanings and different situations. So I explore these different uh, situations within the different songs. And it was also, a, you know, a, a lot of influence. Always there's this Native American influence and also kind of a, in the, on this record, especially more of an Arabic, um, yeah, uh, Arabic, North African um, kind of influence. Uh, we listen to a lot of Iranian music or... Pakistani music or, or uh, so all of this has an influence in the music itself and sometimes in the lyrics too but uh, so maybe what gets you high today in the music context of getting high uh, right now I just listen to Native American music at the moment just different uh, just you know, there's many different drum groups, and they, they play specific songs for specific uh, dances, which have a specific meaning, and all of this. Uh, just right now, that's all I listen to. Um, my son and myself, we travel around America, just going to all the different uh, different reservations or or just places in general where they have a meeting of the people and the, the culture and the music, and so we spend a lot of time there. Just being with those people and experiencing that, what they have to bring, and right now that's all I'm listening to, I guess. How difficult is it today to be original and to create something really new that wasn't heard before? I don't know. I don't think about it. You know, I I make the music. I make an original music only because I don't know how to play <laughs> music. You know, I, I'm not a trained musician. You know, I don't know how to play other people's music or. You know what I mean? I don't. The music that I make is just 
what comes out of me. I teach myself how to play all the instruments, you know, so it's just my own things. I mean, of course, there's many influences, you know, from all the music that I listen to, you know. Um, but how that translates into how I actually make the music is is probably a very small piece, just because I'm not very good, so I have to do it my way. And so my way becomes something original because because it is as, <laughs> because it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe what's the glue that is keeping your band together? How do you communicate in your band? With the people yeah. in the band? Yeah. Well, we communicate on a lot of different levels, you know. Of course, you have a friendship. And then you have a, a working relationship, of course. And then we also have a spiritual aspect to our relationship, which kind of is the is the glue I would say that keeps all the other aspects the all, all the other parts of our relationship together and um, able to to walk together mm -hmm. uh, in the wake of declining CD cells and internet music revolutions the revolution maybe where do you see new opportunities for the bands for you how to promote well for us I see very little uh, opportunity I mean we're not a band who sells a lot of records. We're not a band who gets played on the radio very often. You know, it's mainly just kind of a a core audience of of people, and sometimes we get a little bit of attention in the press or something like that. But uh, normally, this doesn't it doesn't affect us too much. You know, I and mean, people know who we are, but that doesn't necessarily mean they like who we are. <laughs> um, so we, you know, in this climate, or you know. Primarily, it's us playing live. That is the experience that people are looking for when, when they think of us. Not so much a studio album or some, watching something on television. It's going to a show, you know, in a small place or whatever. You know, it's uh, that's where we live and that's where we are able to survive. Maybe the last question: Are you uh, currently working on any new material? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, we're working now and. The record, I'm sure, you know, will come out sometime next year. You know, it's, yeah, these things take time, but um, yeah, we have a lot of new things and a lot of new music, and that's what. When as soon as I get home, I start doing that. Yeah. Thank you.